Okay, truly an alert day. However, looking from Sky Chopper 13, beautiful seeing some horses out there in uh, Baltimore County. They're not running in the Preakness, but hey, it looks like they could. That's right. Yeah. They said alert what? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Check in with meteorologist yeah. Dave Beasley. They're not worried about it, but yeah, temperatures though are going to be getting quite toasty out mm -hmm. there, especially for tomorrow. New record highs expected across the area. So you want to prepare for it. The good news is, is this thing's only going to last for a couple of days before we're right back into the 70s here for highs by next week. Now, earlier today we had a storm threat. Fortunately, most of it stayed to our north. Tornado watch was in effect earlier this afternoon until 7 o'clock. That's since been canceled. And that the reason why is because of an upper level disturbance that tracked quickly across the U.S. This was out towards St. Louis yesterday. Moved through Cincinnati late last night, early this morning. Now beginning to move through New Jersey. And that's where the threat for severe weather is going to be. Basically along I-95 through the Philly area up towards New York. Wind damage reports out towards Garrett and Allegheny County. But that's really about it. Most of them have been just across the border up in the Pennsylvania. Temps, though, that's been the bigger story for us. We've been in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. That's where we are right now with a heat index of 95 in Baltimore. Heat index nearly 100 currently in Easton. So temps through this evening into the 80s. South winds at about 5 to 10. Skies remaining mostly cloudy. Not concerned about rain or storms here for this evening. So you should be just fine. And it looks like tomorrow sunshine is going to be building in as high pressure aloft starts to crank up across the area. That combined with, of course, the the sunshine is really going to really uh, cause those temperatures to ramp up here through the afternoon. We're expecting low to mid 90s, maybe some spots in the upper 90s here for tomorrow for the Preakness. It's going to be the, one of the hottest ones that they've had out there. Uh, with uh, heat index values approaching 100 degrees, that's what it will feel like when you factor in the humidity. Temps overnight tonight into the 70s area wide, so it's not going to cool off that much. And look at these highs here for tomorrow 94 Easton, 96 for Baltimore, 97 down into the district, 95 for La Plata. And even on Sunday, temps into the upper 80s and lower 90s, but there will be storms moving in later. And it's with that cold front that's going to bring our temperatures back down into the 70s here for next week. Mostly cloudy tonight, 73. Light south wind tomorrow, 96. Near record high temperatures expected. The record high for Baltimore tomorrow is 96 degrees. Southwest wind at about 5 to 10. Here's a look at your first alert seven day forecast. Again, we got an alert day for tomorrow because of the heat and humidity expected. 92 here for your Sunday. And then as we go through next week, notice behind the front temperatures get a little bit cooler. We do start to warm back up though into the 80s here by Thursday and Friday with a chance for some storms. But be careful outside tomorrow. Drink plenty of fluid and take frequent breaks. Guys, back over to you.